Hello everyone, welcome to 2020. Oh, I'm so excited to see this year. I believe this is going to be the best year for me, for you. I trust the Lord that it's going to be our year. But how do we make 2020 the best year we've ever lived? I'm going to be giving you some tips. Because I don't want to make a long video. I'll give the tips. I'll give you one today, tomorrow. Or whenever I have a, an opportunity, I'll give you the next one. I believe if we can change our focus and redirect our steps, we can achieve much. Because as, humans, as human beings, God has given us something that makes us equal. He has given us time. Everybody has the same number of hours. We all have the same number of minutes. But what counts, what makes a difference is what we do with the hours, with the minutes, with the time that we have. So God has given us an equal platform. Now, tip one. If you want 2020 to be the best year in your life, you have to deal with procrastination. I mean, it's good at the beginning of the year, a lot of people write their visions, their dreams, their plans, their ambitions, their new year resolution, all good. But I tell you, those things will remain on paper unless you take action. And you can agree with me that that has been your challenge. You know, as the year is beginning, a lot of people are going for fasting and prayer, 21 days, 30 days, 40 days, very good. God honors sacrifices and I know that he's going to answer your prayers. But brothers and sisters, least procrastination has been the device that the devil has been using to change, to limit us. To stop us from going ahead to, to, to getting what God has, uh, God has for us. And we, we don't have to just pray. We don't just have to write the vision. We need to take action. I will, I will. We said so in 2019. January, we said, I will. February, we said, I will. December, March, we said, I will. September came, we said, I will. December came, we said, I will. And December came, the year ended, and this is a new year, and we are all excited, we are praying, and we are fasting, and we are writing our vision, oh great, 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 this is good, it, it's awesome. But I tell you, if we do not change our strategy, the devil is going to use procrastination to stop us. So it's the reason I just felt deep in my spirit to share this. We need to rise up and take action. You want to learn music? You want to go to school? Take action. Take action. Leaving things undone to the last minute is not good. You're not going to get the quality that God desires for you working like that. We can say, oh, it's just a normal student attitude. But I tell you, we can't go far like that. We won't ever find the perfect time. We just have to do what we can today because you cannot guarantee the next minute. But what you have in your hand, do something. The cleaning you want to do, do it. The cooking you want to do, do it, sister. The, uh, the prayers you want to do, do it. How you programmed yourself to study the word, do it. The call you want to make, do it. Your relationship you want to strengthen, do it. Don't wait any longer. The skill you want to acquire, stand up. It's already January 2020. You will say next year, next year. This is the year. Rise up and do something. You can't get much done in life if only you work on the days to feel good. Don't wait, my sister. Don't wait, my brother. The time will never just be right. You, 
You may try to delay time, but remember, time will not delay itself. So why not rise up? That has been the tool that Delo has been using. And while we are here praying and while we are here fasting, while we are here writing our visions and planning how we're going to move ahead, how we're going to achieve our dreams, the devil is just smiling because he knows the tool he's been using on us. And it's time for us to be open. And it's time for us to rise up and break those chains of limitation called procrastination. Rise up, preach. If it's God is saying, preach, preach the gospel. If he's saying, pray, pray. And he says, study, study. Don't put it to tomorrow. You can never guarantee tomorrow. And you know, God, he's so faithful. When he sees your sacrifice, he honors it. This will be your best year. But dear, this is the message I have. Deal with that procrastination. If you deal with it, you can achieve so much. You can get so high. You can get to where you never dreamt of. Whatever being the root cause, you have to recognize first. Dealing with procrastination, you have to recognize first that you have this problem. But because sometimes we, just, we can just laugh at it. Then we used to say it's a student attitude and we laugh about it. But it's a serious thing, I tell you. Many people have been in that because of this. So you need to recognize it. You need to know the root cause. Laziness, fear, all that cause. Jesus has taken it upon himself. He is faithful. He is just. He is able. He can lift you. He can take you there. So put all the fears and the listeners aside. Rise up and take action. Make this year the year of action. That is what is going to be different. The only difference between success and failure is action. If you take action, I assure you, this will be your best year. God bless you.